Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, so I've just been out biking for sort of 10 to 20 minutes with wet hair because it's, it's summer now, apparently. And I came back and my hair smells like wet dog and I don't know why this happens. I've heard it only happens to white people and I'm pretty sure it's true because I know a lot of white people that smell like this after being outside the entire day. There's something in our hair and uh, in the city air that does this. Uh, it just smells like wet dog so if you know why please put it in the comments because You have animal, you have eukaryotic cells! Interesting scientific thing to research. <laughs> Pretty stupid, but uh, interesting nonetheless. All right, have a nice day. How I don't smell like wet dog. Wet dog. Wet dog. How I don't smell like wet dog. Wet dog. Do -do 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 -do. Commercial break. Hi, this is Emily from Minute Earth. Supermarkets have lots of milks to choose from these days, many of which are the product of blending up and straining various nuts and seeds. Plain old milk milk, on the other hand, is also a strained product. It's filtered cow blood. The fuck? As weird as that seems, all mammal milk is made from blood because- what? <laughs> The fuck? Genetics separate us. Has nothing to do with blood type. No, Zachariah Sitchin came out with the truth too. He said there was a group of extraterrestrials that came to this planet and created a race of people. So how do you figure out who was created? How do you figure out who was created? You go inside your DNA. But you're here. Why do your hair so have the same follicles as a dog? Like wet dog. Your hair has the same follicles. But I, you ever pet a dog before? Okay, don't it feel like you're here? Uh, Ain't no little rougher, are you? <laughs> Yo, man, I love this shit, cuz. Ain't no little rougher. Stop it. If you don't cut it out, man. The book says that your, our genetics is completely different. The book says that I am compatible to the sun, and you're not compatible to the sun. The book says that I'm compatible to the planet, and you're not compatible to the planet. The book says that I have no animal blood, but you have an animal blood. See, this is why y'all born with tails or snubs at a baby, and it got cut off. Is the vestigial tail. It's just one of those weird things that our DNA gives embryos as a genetic leftover. But usually, they're given the command to die by the genes while you're still in the womb. But rarely, we make it through birth with this vestigial extension. If you're still in doubt about evolution, then combine the tail with a condition called lanugo, or a fine growth of hair that can develop on a fetus, and it sometimes is present at birth. So we have tails, and we're covered in fur at birth, and somehow we didn't evolve from animals? Get out of town. Okay, I wanted to show you my raw meat breakfast. I wanted um, you all to have a chance to see someone eat it. There wasn't, wasn't a lot on that on YouTube. Um, I've got a little bit of kidney here and some hamburger. I eat the hamburger mostly because it's a lot less expensive. Got some eggs and raw butter and raw milk. I'm not going to drink any of that for breakfast because I don't like to mix it. But um, um, I just want you to know I got into well, let me just eat something just to show you that it won't kill you. I've been eating this for like two years now. And, um... Quality of it. I'm just going to give it a little taste to see if it needs more salt. Mm. Honestly, it's really, really good. Go to my old bitches. <laughs> because uh, again, this although it looks 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 to be pretty good, but again very uh, very fatty, and some of the fat particularly hard to cut. 
And you kind of have to, uh, when it gets like that, again, see, very rare. Wash it all down with a good cup of blood. You can eat it directly from the, the skull, or you can scoop it out, put it in a little dish for later. I have this prepared from earlier. It's uh, I slaughtered a lamb earlier today, and it's just fat trimmings and, and uh, intestinal lining fat that line the gut, and some meat from the the hind end, and uh, got little pieces of heart and uh, fresh liver. And that's that's a typical dinner for me. That's that's.